What's up everybody? This is the Poker Coaching Study Session and today we're going to be looking at three bet box from the small blind. So on the first part, we're going to be playing a C bet small on the flop. And then what we're, we want to look at today is like the turn strategy. So first part, we see bet small on the flop. On, on the second part, we're going to venture into the bigger bet. So for now, see bet small, villain calls, we play a turn every time. Did, let me ask you something. Did you actually go through the aggregate report and filter for <laughs> flops that are mostly small bets or you just random flops? Do you see it here? You got all the distribution right here at the bottom. And then uh, you're going to see like we are exploring all the yellow and no, the flops are all over the place. So no filters. No filters for flops. Uh, uh, no, check. No. I would check here. I don't know if it's any good or not. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. That's a good showdown value. <laughs> fold, I would fold. You want to fold, huh? Uh, yeah. TGO folds, you know. <laughs> yeah, we're going to fold. <laughs> DGO call it <laughs> easy field fold. Well, it starts mixing fold, so it's not yeah, like fold. a slam dunk. No, it's not slam dunk, indeed. That's true. It's pretty indifferent here. So, not what turned on the river that makes you want to call flop and fold river? The five changes nothing. Just because on the flop, I know we need to continue with that kind of like ace king, but it's I, James. I don't think they're barreling off often enough for me to worry about having to call with these kind of hands past one bet. Like people are gonna like do shenanigans on the flop with like spades and stuff like that. The changes that they bet, they don't check. So yeah, no, well, I'm calling here. And a five is now, of course, trips. That's also the straight. Oh, and another seven four. four. Check. Hey, the seven okay. is very bad for us. Okay, so we check here, and how do we play a hand like king queen off? Ooh, what's the bottom of our Same range? Three bet range. That's not the question. The bottom of our three bet range is probably like queen 10 off. Yeah, then I think queen 10 off uh, the uh, bet. And queen jack off, maybe still uh, check. I don't know. Maybe mixing. Uh, can maybe we see our three bet range? I'm curious, how, how, many, I'm curious how many of these middling cards connected we have in our range from the small blind. Yeah, suited ones. We have some, yeah, a little bit, right? So it's, this is the range we three bet with. So they can't go crazy when we check because we have board coverage here. So I, I, we're not. Yeah, no, not really. We don't have super capped. And then we, as we see here, uh, we check 95% of the time. Simple as that. Yeah, but seven, eight and that kind of stuff, you have proportionally uh, less, I don't know. We have a lot more marginal hands. Oh, wait. So what am I looking at? We just have slivers of eight, seven, eight, six in range. Yeah, right? we only have slivers of those. We don't have them full time. I mean, this is uh, confusing a bit. Can you do the proportional? Or no, whatever it is. Yeah, this is better. It gives more uh, how many in your range you have. The range height. So we have some eight, six. Seven six and six fives. Playing about sixty five combos total. Yeah, I mean we're not happy. We're not going to triple off like um, eight six here, right? Like we got a pair of sixes, so you can't just barrel all the marginal stuff. Three barrels. All right, that's seven. That makes that a straight. So, but. So nine seven would be a better example. Like you're not just gonna triple off nine seven here. Yeah, nine the nine is blocking, of course, the, the best combos of him, man. Nine eight. <laughs> There's not really a good turn for us. No, of course not. <laughs> Even an ace not? No. 
we think an ace is probably uh, still uh, okay. So these middle connected boards, it looks like we have to really protect our checking range. Okay. Yeah, but that seems uh, yeah logical, eh? because on the six, five, four board, the button has the best range for me. All right. Many calls at least. Eh? And now we're just going to check it down. I'm folding this like I folded Ace King. Yeah, if you call with Ace King and sometimes fold, and you fold Ace Queen, I think you need. Okay, top pair. Bad kicker. Check call. The four is a brick. So we polarize, I think. I'm happy to check, but I'm going to bet from the top down. Bet my better aces. And some diamonds and some queen 10, maybe. Might have some bets only because we don't have a diamond, but I'm checking. So sure, checking is the easy answer, right? But if you bet again, like 16, is he calling with like a king X? Is he calling with like a worse end, like a pocket nine, pocket ten? Well, no. Pocket, pocket nine. jack, pocket queen. A king could maybe call if... Uh, a king. Best. So yeah. if we bet this combo, we bet small if you're trying to get called by that stuff. It's by a small barrel rather than a large barrel. We're check. I think it's probably like eight or check. Like on a four turn. It's a break. I want a barrel again. Yeah. yeah, it's doing it sometime. Thing is, look at the SPR. We can't check it down with top pair as uh, like SPR 1.5. We have the nuts, basically. And all that is three bed pot, eh? so uh, the ranges are more tight. The solver is checking. Yeah, it's checking. But it's also it's betting big. All right, but you can't say we can't check here when the solver predominantly wants to check. No, but I'm saying. Look at the SPR. Do you usually check top pair at SPR 1.5? Well, I said I could either check or use the eight pig blind size, which is that actually higher EV than the better you know, point two. Like in my mind, when SPR is like this, top pair becomes the stone cold nuts, regardless of the kicker. But it's, it's not. That's it's, uh, it's a three bed pot, eh? so there are more ace axes in this range, also, probably. Although not the best ones. So. Another brick. We block a spade, that's not good. They say, they say, they say. Uh, a five on the turn. It's a fair board. It's not great. Yeah, and five on the turn. It's also not good. So I would guess another spot we bet eight or check. Uh, thing is, uh, we get better races to fold, right? If we bet again. Um, nah, maybe ace nine, ace ten, ace jack. Maybe get some. Yeah, no, you're right. I guess there's not that many better races. We just check. No. Still betting some, but bet big. Mostly betting. Interesting. Yeah, it's 50 50 almost. If we bet 16, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we polarized. Yeah, of course. It's the turn. He's mixing folds with some ace jacks without the spade. Oh, he's he folding with, the with the spade. Oh, because no. he wants us to have the spade. Ace <laughs> jack, ace 10, ace 9. We ain't getting them off any pairs yet. Fours are, uh, fours are set, fives are set. Uh, our threes are folding. No, but we target better ace hearts. That's Six to is folding. Yeah, ace we get some five to fold. Some trees, some, are folding. some weak pairs, and some ace hearts. So some pairs fold. Okay. Some better hands fold. So yeah. 
Well, how's it breaking down the strategy here? A lot of yeah. aces. Uh, the best a sides are checking mostly. The showdown. So the best come from the king. A C A seven. Yeah, it's the bottom of your range, actually. I mean, almost. Is this a breakdown? What each hand in their range is going to do? Yeah. On the turn. Okay. Yeah. So this yeah. is roughly the range because it's we messed a little bit with the the height, but it gives us an idea. Like uh, here, like if you have a jack ten, you miss. You don't have anything. I would think you want a barrel here because you get like better better hands than yours to fold and a whole bunch of, of stuff. And then sometimes when you have a hand like Jack 10, you want to play it like you play pocket tens. But here it's checking pure. The gray is checked. Then you, you get the color code, color code here. Is that because your block is uh, King Jack, King 10 floats? Yeah, but King 10. And now fold on the turn, I mean, against the bet. King 10's banning now. Yeah, I, I wonder then why Jack 10 is uh, it's also depending on what he does. Huh? So having a Jack and a 10 is bad. Because we blocked the bottom of his continues. Yeah. What I I, I thought the yeah. 10 is not that good. King 10, yeah. But uh, say the same for King Time, but maybe that's a spade one that's uh, still betting or something like that. Now we have Ace Eight, so why would Ace Eight bet big on that turn? I don't get it. Because look at this: when we have a hand like Ace Eight, okay, if we bet big on this turn, this guy, our opponent, has hands like Ace Nine, Ace Ten, Ace Jack that he he missed here. He doesn't have anything to go with it. So we take a, a hand like ace-8 and we get him off like a, an ace-jack sometimes, an ace-10 sometimes, an ace-9 sometimes. <clears throat> that way we get a better hand to fold and then if the ace comes, it's clean. Yeah, if I the ace on the river. Also yeah, polarizing. Clean. So we bet a lot of bad hands and a lot of good hands. And ace-8 is one of the bad hands also. Okay, okay. That's the way I look at it more. And then, yeah, you have to fold out better hands, of course. Yeah. It's thin, but it's a thing. It's a thing, yeah. But it's mixing uh, with a lot of bad hands. I mean, not only Ace 8, it's also Jack 7 and the Jack. Uh, so, which... what are we supposed to do when we blast the turn and then abandon ship? <laughs> oh, man, you just go for it all. Put it all in the middle. Do you? Yeah, you have Ace 8, I would fold. Jack. I don't know. I mean, uh, Ace three got there. We yeah, but you block Ace three. I mean, see. we tried to convince him with a small bet and then a kind of a big bet, and then he's yeah, but still what, what Ace three is still in there. So, what is this? Is this a three bet pot with a small bet and yeah. a yeah. check and a big bet? Yeah. yeah, that's what it is. Uh, what Ace three is still in there? Bates. I don't know, man. I feel like you probably just the fact that like spades brick. I mean, having the eight of spades is not great, I guess, but it's not too relevant, right? Like, how many I eight think, of spades does he? Yeah, really he have? doesn't have a lot of eight of spades. I think it's good to have in your hand because you block the 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 the, the, the miss in his range, kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think I would probably pull the bit trigger here. I would check. No. Because of that, because of that I have spade, I would check. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Well, good game. Oh. He's he been, actually went for it with King King. That's pretty uh he's pretty been brave. He's been calling with King's pretty far. What is this pot? Oh, okay. You're starting okay, I see what you're working on now. The turn. <laughs> Three bet pots, small bet, small. turn spot. Yes. Oh, Jug myself. 
What about? We can do anything. <laughs> I don't know if we get to go too crazy. What a barrel, 16? I like 16. Hey, Caramba, I think you probably... Get started from King Jack. Oh, no, King Jack. He just, he just put it in. <laughs> I mean, we don't beat anything, right? Oh, yeah. So, like, straight. We, so, oh, we, hold on. Before you click, we're, we're not folding to a bet, right? No. So let's just stick it in. I mean, you lose to everything. It's yeah. a four-liner. You don't get to stick it in with your pair here. He's got like a million two pairs, and then if he doesn't have two pairs, he's got a straight. If it's we're not ever folding, I put it in. If we're going to fold to a jam, then fine. No, it's yeah. the other way around, Ken. It's, you got it right. We're not going to fold. We have a, a, an over pair, but we're not going to bluff him off. Or... Now, now at least he can bluff, uh, Ken. Yeah, exactly. Now at least he can bluff. <laughs> Too bad if you have. I think we fold. Even uh, we yeah, fold. yeah. I was gonna say uh, <laughs> I, I fold. You have I mean, to this, well, that's, this is the we're answer. Right. I didn't know. If we're folding to a bet, that I'm checking. If we're not folding, I'm gonna bet and still try to get called by a king or a queen. I just uh, don't know what you are hoping to beat here. Yeah, Ken, so. Gloves? Am I like, what's, what, what's his to... what's his bluffs? Eight, I don't nine, care. Or I don't or care. Eight, seven, diamonds. He's gonna have maybe diamonds every blue moon. This was this would be a good time for LP to pull up his river call efficiency and show it to the class. Are you serious? Like we got so we're looking for this here. We came with three bet, we see bet, we fought all the way, and now we're facing the finish line, right? So you're hoping uh you're hoping for five four of diamonds here. It's time to pass go and collect the two hundred dollars. We have we have the second worst possible hand in all of Hold'em. One pair. Yeah, it's this is this is rough, man. I, I it's a pair of aces. He block bluffs. <laughs> it's aces. Come on. I don't care. <laughs> SPR is 50, 50 here. Hey, this is uh this is only half as bad as Ken wanting to jam Louis on the river, so. Not that bad. Oh my god. Oh, never would have guessed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. What are we doing here? All right. To the turn. Oh. Uh, force connecting with the board, so that's not good for us. But the, the force not that bad. I mean, what does he have though, Yas? Like, in a three bed pot? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think on these low textures, when when the turn, yeah, yeah, but the, there was no good turns here. I, I think the okay. five is worse for us. The four is maybe okay. For me, it's very clear now. A low board like this, there's no good turn. Yeah, yeah, I think you have to check, but uh, there are some blush for this one. Gold. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. Yes, Try man. again. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. I'm not making this call. Man. Man, you're a nit. <laughs> I am. He yes. had a really he actually had a really I mean, good hand. Five here. five was worse, but four is hmm. I'm surprised he went eight. I would have probably gone bigger. <laughs> He's in position. Uh well, well, we have a net draw, sir. I kind of want to go again. Maybe block okay. at least uh, some. Why? I'm checking. Seduce. Because we picked up equity. <clears throat> because we fold out better aces. <laughs> what better aces are you going to fold? <laughs> he has a gut shot with they say. Yeah, but he doesn't. I mean, is not a, oh, got shot with the, with the so if you were to bet again, you would be targeting like his queens and tens, I guess, which is seems kind of thin, right? Because they're going to have additional equity often. Maybe it is just to check, like, no, no, he has a lot of suited tens, so he doesn't have a lot of offsuit uh, queens, does he? Oh, he yeah. should. It's it's button, it's the button versus small blind, so he will have some relatively high frequency queen x no it's another barrel suited, i think mostly suited i don't know 
Yeah, oh, see, he's got all of his offsuit <laughs> 10 X in there. The Queen's is that us. Yeah, but this is just full range. That's, all you That's us. That's us. Never mind. Right. So it looks like on the offsuit branch, if you have a uh, a spade, you're probably continuing. There's just a lot of that over there. Ace, so you bet your worst aces. Come on. Even if you don't have a spade, you're still continuing quite a bit. Continue the sevens. Seven spades. Bet your worst aces. Just do it. Ah, no, you're so just hard. actually barreling with the spade in your hand. So hard to just barrel off 60 bags, man. God. It's not hard. We have a spade. Look at this. Look at all the bets. This is something that's going to have to, this is a, something that I have to work on comfort zone wise. What size? Yeah. It's small with the spade, right? So yeah, it's also, small. again, if you check any bets, what then? Yeah, it's a lot worse, right? Yeah, I mean, that's also not comfortable. <laughs> uh, so now what? I know what I'm doing. Is he supposed to have still queens in his hand? Did we bet now? We bet on the turn because we picked up a spade and it was fun, but now, I mean... What and are we going to do? About bad banning and ship. <laughs> I abandon ship because we have a spade. He's got more Queen X than we do. Yeah. I would I would probably uh, wave the white flag here. Okay, do you have a bluff here on this rumor? Yeah, you definitely bet, should. Bet five. Yeah, we did bet, I said. yeah, so like what Jack X is probably still going for it. Like Jack eight, Jack seven. Are those flushes? Right. Jack no, no, they're not bluffing flushes. tens. Jacks. So I don't even think it's bluffing tens. I think that's two pair going. It's a full house going for value, and then it's a straight blocker. Yeah, ten eights. No, ten straight. nine's a pair. Ten nine, ten eight. That feels like a bluff to me. Oh, those are nine, those nine, are. Nine, yeah, nine I was looking at the block, right. I straight. was looking at the offsuit. Well, th you just have the flushes here of those. It looks like. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Flushes. Gotcha. So it's either value or uh, blocker. Jack. Or two bear. Or four. So Jack has bluffing a little wee bit. Yeah, but that's that's a straight blocker. So we're bluffing with every spade, basically. And if yeah, on the off suit part and on the suited part, it's going to be flushes. And that's it, right? No, there was some Jack X in there. That's where your bluffs were coming. Yeah, from. but it like, could be spade in there. Look, look at Jack X. Jack up. eight, Jack eight. Hots. So you got a little bit of Jack eight. You got a little bit of what was Jack seven? Ah, this there. Jack eight suited, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so straight blockers are also good. Jack sevens. And then the ace nine, right? The nine X and the Jack X that break, the worst ones. Yeah, it looks like you just don't want to overdo it, right? Like. So ideally with the spade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like ace nine with the ace of spades is just like a really premium bluff here. Yeah. yeah even having, having the nine space is uh, pretty good. Uh... Mm hmm. So go all in with the ace of spades. No, you're all out. Pocket fours. What a savage. Yeah, you had the best hand, so it's a correct fold. <laughs> I like I think I like 16 here. What do you think? Yep. Yeah. Are you, okay. you want to go bigger? I think 16. Right. You might value own yourself if you go bigger. It's gonna get goofy on rivers. Sure. Finally. Finally. Mm -hmm. Queen six. Uh, that must be one of our worst hands. So if you barrel the flop, you this three is very inconsequential. So like a lot, you're gonna continue a lot with your trash. I just don't know 
Yeah, 50 50 bet and check. Why would he double barrel a lot to jump on a 3x? So probably 60. Because his backdoor draw stuff, when it runs out rainbow, didn't pick up any equity. It didn't complete anything. So he's going to have hands like, I don't know, queen nine of hearts or king. Exactly. Yeah. The way yeah. I see oh, it. Yeah. Also, we have glyphs. Two have broad ways here. We're just screwed. It's, it's four or five came in. Because he, he either connect directly mm -hmm. or... Is that, his suited? range is connected. Sure. Four five suited, absolutely. He raises four five suited pre flop, and calls calls a three vet with four five suited. It's in That's there for sure, Scotty. Every time, it's in there. Yeah, okay, but um, yeah, I don't but know. We don't. We don't. I'm have not necessarily five suited. I'm not necessarily advocating for uh, barreling this combo. I'm just saying you're going to have some trashy combos because the nature of this three that continue barreling. I think this combo is a good combo to barrel, actually, because we have clips. Well, yeah, I mean, you can get better queens. You can get kings to fold. Like, I don't think you would go that. Well, maybe yeah. you would. I don't know. I would probably like, is... go more like eight or something. But I, I think would I would check here. Let's see if it's yeah. double I'm barrel. Like I'm going to give up, but we do unblock as suited continues. So I think so, our bluffs are going to be the lower end of our suited connected stuff and then the stuff that wraps around the 10, the ace, like the Broadway draws and the low shit draws right. that really aren't draws anymore. So look at, he's Selling going to stuff, be... Not so much. There That's is some 16 five. there, but Green there's a five. lot of eight That's and then there's a lot of checking. So That's the thing. We have some wheel interactions here. Yeah. So like look at 9-7, nine, 9-8. Seven, nine, eight. Nine, seven, nine, eight are still going for it. Um, is that clips or yeah? Uh, but look at the direct the gut shot to the, the, the straight the wheel. It's picking uh, it's picking the five and the four a lot, right? Like yeah, because it has to. Very heavy on fives. What are the nine eights? Is that uh, yeah, clips? Let's, let's look at the it, look at six the five. Six five is going bonkers. Well, I mean, you have direct equity to like the super nuts if a four hits. Yeah. Roll over, roll over like the uh, nine eight that has no equity, and just see which one it is. It's clubs so, mostly, but it's all of them. Uh, yeah, it, yeah. Makes it seems to prefer clubs, like y'all said. Yeah. Well, the clubs yeah. make sense, right? Because you're unblocking his continues on the flop. Yep. It's weird to me that it, it uh, omits the eight six and eight seven. Why is that? I guess the nines block some continues somehow. That would have continued on the flop. Does that make sense? I guess not. I just honestly can. I think it's just pulling from the bottom of the deck. Yeah, but it's like, not using eight, six, and eight, seven. They're worse than nine, seven, nine, eight, right? I think I there's believe. something with the six. The way the six interacts with um six five. <laughs> with uh the two and the three. It's, I think it just doesn't want to like be saturated with 6x because you're kind of like blocking some of his like bluffs or loose continues, perhaps. I don't know. I'm kind of I don't think it's a big it's part of balance, it's just, really... Sometimes it's just balance. No, it's not. It's not. Like, honestly, if you wanted to admit that and just kind of focus on the fives and the fours here because they block the straight, I think you would be uh, more than full enough with bluffs, right? So oh, hand like king queen here is, is you have already enough you know, sixes in your range eh, because you uh, bluff uh, sixes. We want to bet a lot of jackets, right? I think you're just yeah. barreling your the same combos that have the equity on the flop. Like you have a gut shot here, so you benefit a lot from folds, kind of stuff. And I think that's the nature of the three. <clears throat> Like okay. if you made it like uh, the three of, I don't know, spades or something, you probably would see lesser frequency from these that don't interact with the flush. Yeah, you wanna, it would be spades then, right? Yeah, it would It would start going down that branch. Well, I don't think, I think we still see a very heavy king queen. Yeah, I just think it would, it would start to discriminate a little bit. See, uh -huh. the frequency yeah. drops and now you're discriminating with the spades pretty yeah. exclusively. The two hands that really surprise me here that are betting after the three are jacks, queens, and kings that they continue betting some of the time instead. You're above of, the ten. 
That's yeah, true. yeah, that is that's pretty uh, pretty interesting. To me bet, too. But they're they're marginally made against his against his. Uh, uh, in the three bet uh, box, what was the, be what was the bet size? I don't know if it's marginal. What was the bet size? What do you, you don't mean? Don't know yet. Most yeah. often blue. I mean that the jacks and queens are betting with. I think they're betting eight or sixteen. It's going to be one of those two. I would bet eight personally. Mix, uh, no, they're betting the small. Uh, jacks betting are betting the big. Yeah. Jacks are mixing. So that's logical. <laughs> We're also looking at the two tone variant. And jacks right have. Uh, that's right. Uh, need protection a bit, so. Not the two tone, but the the back door that came. Right. So that's now, like you see, Queens is benefiting a little bit more from a larger bet, some, but. I mean, the strategy is what it is, right? I guess you see this reverse hierarchy between kings, queens, and jacks because jacks can get queens and kings to fold if they're in range. Yeah, also queen, queen never folding, fold and, uh, and that kind of stuff. Huh? Ken is not folding. Not on the turn. Give up on the queen six. We need queen five here. Man, if I got pocket queens and I'm catching some like heavy smoke here on the turn, I'm definitely letting those go. I think. Well, I might still bet because check, check. it's also oh, a check, check. Kind of block bet, huh? check, check block five, six. Yeah, Scotty's right. I bet we bluff this and I bet we bluff it for a big size. I am out. He's not folding the 10, does he? Uh, how big are you, you going? Go all in. I mean, <laughs> you, you, you want to go all in, really? <laughs> no. Okay, I'm reaching. It's only zero minus I'm, zero. I'm no, reaching. the size is 27. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nine, spicy. Um, I like that queen. I kind of think we probably. A... Go ahead, Ken. I was going to say, if there wasn't three to a flush, we saw on the queen paired border, we sized up. Um, so, but I don't think we're going to size up here. I wouldn't Maybe. be surprised to see an 8.1 here. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. 8.1. I mean, I'll protect your... Uh, For me, it's a check. But also checking. Yeah, uh, check's good. Yeah, it's a similar EV almost. Well, oh. now what are you going to do? You're going to call, call one. I'm going to call one, but at least, and then... It's a, well, it's you don't have to pay the ball, but it's fine. It's our worst eight. So. Still making 4.5. Maybe. Ooh. New block bet or you check? You're going to get, you're going to isolate yourself versus a queen if you block check. bet. I kind of like playing check to catch his bluffs. Oh my nope. God, we block bet. Even if that is a block, it's like a value. Yeah. We're targeting flushes. I guess we are, yeah. Is it folding? And under pairs. Yeah. Is it folding? You can't. Yeah. You can't fold to a Hold jam, I don't think. I am definitely in, folding right? to a jam. I don't know what the sovereign's going to do, but in real life, I am out. <laughs> I don't know. I may. I might fold. <laughs> Most of the queens bet small. Yeah. That's. I guess that's how you protect your um your yep. eight x here. And in, in tournaments, it's even better. But all, although this is chippy v solve, so not no tournament. So it's like if the guy ever has a bluff here, ever, <laughs> ever, you're supposed to like call sometimes. But if he just never has bluffs, just fold. <laughs> and if honestly, want... like Ken's saying, I just don't think they're gonna have a ton of bluffs here. Like, are they gonna find the king nine with the king of spades here or something? <laughs> I would. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> oh my goodness. 17 is a pretty pretty big factor. Okay, well there you go. <laughs> there we you go can what? make your zero EV call. Definitely. You, it's my favorite to, thing to do. You get to reduce your river call efficiency another notch. Another notch, a little bit worse every time you call. There we go. Look at that <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> They always beat me, man. I mean, honestly, oh. what is their value to bluff ratio there? It's probably like five to one or something, right? Oh, it's got to be something ridiculous like that. Man, I kind of want to barrel this again. Me too. 
Yeah, we have the Queen of Spades, so that's a good one. With the spade, right? Yep. Yes, yep. that's one of the driving factors, I think. Very heavy back there. And also blocking uh, the straights. You also. say, yep, blocking the straights also important. <coughs> you say, <coughs> having heavy, a pure is also important. Pure. Okay. So what I'm noticing too is when there's a lot of draws still available, we value, I guess it's a value bet, second and third pair as well. No. What? It's a, it's a 10. It's in between, but uh, it's blocking a lot of uh, floats. And, and it seems like we're in the slivers. Yeah. Uh, check. Pretty easy check, I think. Check cry. Check cry. I like that response. So he's not jamming any kings here, so it's going to be an ace or better if he jams. We yeah, put them in the box with better. our line. Oh. Ace, better, or bluffs. We block, bluffs, so yeah, I guess something out. Um, what fell you also? But I would fold. Do you I want to have fold. a spade or no? I think having a spade is not, not great. I agree. Not great, but having a queen is not bad. Honestly, I think this hand's a really good barrel on the turn, but for those reasons, it makes it a horrible bluff catch on the river. I don't think having a queen is good here, y'all. I don't think it is. Having a queen's bad. Having the queen of spades is particularly bad. Yeah. Having a bluff, like you need to think about queen nine, queen eight. Oh well, may yeah, you can bluff indeed with queens. Also, he so might actually K. have some. He that, calls that, a tree bet with a bunch of suited queens. Too. He might actually have some 10x bluffs here as well. Is he bluff like 10 jack? Mm, it's a good question, Ken. I think he might. 10 jack without get... spades, like the offsuit jack 10, no spade. Yeah, like jack 10 of, I don't know, clubs. He can't have clubs. I, that was my first knee jerk right, reaction. He got a club. It's got to be off suit. Yeah. Before we move on from this, I understand why the queen of spades is a bad card in our hand. I'm not sure why the queen is a bad card in our hand since the queen blocks the queen jack. Look at this, Scotty. It's very clear. Queen, queen. nine. Okay, yeah, we block eight. queen nine. Queen but eight. We also block queen jack. Queen six. Uh, more. But there are more queen uh, six, seven, eight. So, nine. Scotty, I'll, uh, <clears throat> to simplify it, to simplify it, like, you have a clear bluff catcher here. And while you are blocking the absolute nuts, you're also blocking the bluffs right. that you need him to have to extract EV. Right. So you have Jack still that he can bluff, but half of the combos that he would be bluffing here, you're blocking. It would be much better to have like 10-5 or something here than okay. 10 queen, right? Or 10-7. Right, because as I look at it, the, the, there's about as much queen jack as there is queen eight, queen nine, and queen six added together. It's about the same, but mm -hmm. but blocking the bluff is more important than blocking the nuts because he's got all kinds of non-nut hands he can bet. Well, it's it's also the line that we took to get here, right? Like this is a three bet pot that we see that we double barreled, polarized yeah. the turn, which is going to push him into like very specific niches. It's either going to be value or brick draws at this point. So, right. like, for that reason, having the queen of spades is pretty unattractive here. Okay. Yeah, it's worth pointing out he did bluff some 10x, too, the 10, 9, 10, 8, 10, 7. If I may. I did, I did see that. Oh, 10, 7 is the nuts, but 10, uh, 9, and 10, 8, 10. Okay. What would you like to say, Yas? What I also think is you also have to look at the uh, value bluff ratio because there are less bluffs. Uh, blocking bluffs is more important than blocking value. Yeah. Um, the 10 here is not great, <clears throat> but we have like a pretty good hand that benefits from fold equity. Yeah. And we also have equity. I still think I would probably play check here. I'm checking a lot I don't, too. I don't know if that's right though. Although we are blocked spades, I would bet. I think I'd bet more than check. We don't get a better queen to fold, right? Just small. 
<laughs> you don't, man. All the better queens have better, they have more equity, right? Yeah. So queen jack, better queen king, lots of equity. But he's got a lot of shit kings and aces now, too. He's got like king five suited, king four suited, maybe, king seven suited, king eight suited. Yeah. You know, real aces. <laughs> I think we would want to have one now. spade in our hand to double barrel here. I'd rather bet without a spade, I think, because then you're getting the diamonds, clubs, hearts. I oh, want a spade here. Sure. Yeah, because we want we, we we want him to not have a continue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are bluffing. Yeah. So blocking continues is uh, the best part. Yeah. So it looks like Queen Nine can start barreling small on the turn, but that. Look at all the, he's going to get a lot of king high and a side of full. All these wheels that are out of, that are just breaking down. All the clubs, diamonds, and hearts are probably out. It's a very good draw. I mean, that, that's true also. And you don't win at showdown, so. I, th I think I still take check here. And I, I, I would rather just play a really polar line on the river. How does it play spades? Um, it looks like it makes well, it, it. Yeah, yeah, it's mixing them, right? Oh. So some of them are betting, some of them are checking. Some are betting small, some are betting big. The aces and kings do a lot of checking. Perfectly mixing with spades. Great. <laughs> That's not what you do, and <laughs> not what I do. <laughs> Back to this. We why bet small? Because it's well, a pair, a, a card, a, a card at pair, so it's very small. Well, we still have direct straight equity, and I, I repeat it again: we are getting a decent amount of ace and king high to start folding. Well, you, you wouldn't bet large eight, here, uh, uh, at, the so eight, at the eight. Do you think you with the bet, bet small like this here? You're going to get the ace two through ace five, the king two through king five, and then maybe like the king sevens, ace sevens, kings eight in the world without the... You get better hands to fault, uh, Ken is right. Which one is, which one is us and which one is them? This is... So this is them the, facing our... Is that after our bet? So his okay. ace kings are folding a lot. To me. Yeah, yeah. He's folding aces, he's folding kings. And in real life, the population <laughs> probably isn't raising the ace two, ace three, ace four, ace fives of the world without spades. In the real life, is population calling your three bet with king four suited? Yeah, well, that's what I was going to say. Not that <laughs> the, answer to that is, the answer to that is no. And if you say some will, some will also do the exact opposite of what you just said about folding yeah. all these combos. Yeah. So it's over land, it's still good. So let's stick with the over land. Yeah. I would play I would play check here, I think. Solver wise was it was correct to bet. No, it's a bet small. We barrel because we get king's eye, king eyes to fold. So he just uh, raises us with the combo the population isn't gonna raise us with, and we can't do nothing about it, I don't think, without the spade. You gotta fold, I think, here. Now open ender. You could be just dead. Open on ender here. against you, the pair. You gotta win oh. I think give me a chance to do the math. Yeah, it doesn't feel good, honestly. I probably would have folded after doing the math. Nah, 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 nah. <coughs> Only have to put in 60 more to win 80. There's okay. one in five. How yeah, did this happen? Seven you just, clean outs. You just got to jam it in. Did we lose most of our chips here? I guess we just... You want to jam yeah, here in the nice? Yeah, the green, that, that's good. <laughs> I think. I'm out. Where are you going, Ken? Banded ship. You have to regroup and grind up by 20 bigs. Mm. Yep. If you're calling the turn, man, you got to have some bluffs here. Not this. His bluffs, we, don't, we saw that he's bluffing a lot of the wheel aces too. Like the aces are in his bluffing range. Like, whatever, I'm out. Ah, King Queen gets tell there, me though. what. We got a bunch of ace highs to fold on the other street. So it's fine. Yeah. King Queen gets there also. Yeah, whatever. It's 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 honestly you're gonna be screwed other way. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sliver you shouldn't find. Uh, yeah, you're not, you're oh, not okay, okay. <clears throat> Don't think it was gonna fold that. I'm shutting down here. I think. Why? No. 
Well, so I want to have some ASEX in my bet check bet line, but then I like I reconsider and I think like the deuce. Good break. Mm, it is pretty bricky. I mean, spades do come in. You can still target spades for value. Maybe it bets small again. I think it's going to bet eight point one or check. I think it bets sixty. I think we saw a similar spot earlier. We don't block the flush, and I, I thought we would bet from the top down, but it's still bet like the ace eight or whatever it was. I think it's a bet because of that. I think yeah, I, box, I think that's not the best combo to bet if you have clubs or uh, an offsuit one. <clears throat> okay, I would bet here again because I'm top not and betting bottom that bet, middle checks. I don't but. think population is like we should check here because it's gonna raise sometimes. Okay, and when he raises. And he takes these aggressive line. We're in a world of hurt. But I don't think population is raising enough here. So we can bet. Mm, yeah. It doesn't go uh, 8.1. Nope. Well, what do you do now? Are you just going to triple it off for our 100 check. big blind pot with a naked ace? Check, check, check. Check it, check call. No. Hey, check you call. can at least uh, catch bluffs. Yep. What is he going to do with like uh, ace four? Yeah, okay. What of like the two, the two or the two people. combos? Two combos we're looking for, okay, Louis. <laughs> yeah, he's so gonna on one it. hand, he probably can't fold a jack, queens, if he has them in range. Tens probably can't fold. So we could target some calls, but I'm still playing check. Here. I'm still playing check call. I have to go what, for that. Yeah, we got What bet. jacks? What jacks is he calling a triple barrel with? Maybe some jacks sometimes. Every blue moon. He jack looks at his hand. He's like, hey, oh, I have King, to call King with jack, this no spade, jack here. Maybe. I don't like the spade. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. You guys are going crazy. I hate this. I think uh, against player pool is not that. He's thinking. He's so <laughs> How are Slow we rollers. so unlucky? I don't get oh, it. Oh, please, please, please. They, they just love boxing every day. Slow roll. Right. Playing perfect GTO here. It's a two-bit block. <laughs> perfect GTO. The EV is up the max, and we value on ourselves to the max. I guess we got to check. You have to win less than 50% of the time, Melody. So what you're telling me is you should have checked the turn. This is going exactly when, just like when I play. <clears throat> yeah. Perfect GTO yeah. line, and I shoot myself in the foot every. Yeah, time. you're you're playing perfect GTO versus a perfect GTO opponent is the difference. Yeah. Jack. Uh. King is pretty good for our three bet range, no? <clears throat> you got jacks, no spade. It's also good for his continuation race, King of Spades. <laughs> Does it really matter what we have? <laughs> mm, do we block bet? Is he gonna block? He's gonna bet single spade combos, but not flushes. I would just check this, man. What are we I trying might block to bet. do? Why we're turning, we're turning Jacks into a bluff? Yeah, well, you might have got that fold, maybe. Uh, not to be a small bit. Nothing. No, oh, got a bit big. Awesome. I know this one. Uh, this is a pure break, so you can bet. Sixteen. So you I like sixteen. Here? Sixteen. Yeah, I like sixteen. Sixteen. I'm gonna check here. No Don't way. Mind. Enjoy your Louis, check. I don't think you've ever checked this note in your entire life. I, I know you're it. cheating. I you cheat what the solver's doing. I have I'm with it, you. But now... He's got a window open in the background. I was wrong. You guys. 16 is too big, indeed. It's the same so, pattern we've seen five times now. This so, morning. how about this? Why are we yeah. checking here? Yeah, it's the same thing we saw 10 times already today. A low what? board. When, on a low board like this, we see Betty call. There's no good turn. Okay, where is our 
EV just, coming from. But two, I'm three, four is particularly this. low. That's like a oh. uh, not a great, like that's just a low board. It's not great for either of us. Oh, well, I think I got lucky here because on the other sim we saw, there was no good turns at all. Because they were a little more middling connected. This is low, low, low. <clears throat> Maybe our aces are too good to bet. Yeah, we're betting from the, like our pairs, the worst pairs up probably. We can't, we can't uh, have less aces he continues. Because we're lacking bluffs too. So we're going to bet our, I guess, five, sixes, sevens, nines, tens up. Uh, the most important thing is the value answer. That we <laughs> uh, is, is bullshit, in my opinion. If you have enough value hands, then you just, have a value bluff ratio. Collect your bluff. Yeah, bluff, hands and bluff, bluff hands. But yeah, it's been a pattern we saw a lot this morning. Uh, it's a low board. And then after we see bet and he calls, there was almost always no good turn. What do we do with so... pocket five, sixes, and sevens? Yeah, uh, he has all the trips, huh? We don't. Ay, 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 ay. So he has maybe a nut advantage. That's this maybe. is the turn strategy. So fives and sixes bet. Okay, can, makes can, sense. Can Nines, tens. Advantage, uh, <clears throat> for, uh, turn card. Five sixes also have straight draws. Yes. I guess the thing is, okay, on like a, a four, three deuce, okay, we're click blocking on, right? a lot of his continues here, blocking aces, which is not great. Like he's going to continue with almost all of his asex. So we have to maybe slow down to get some value from some of these other fans like bluffs that, and things i think that's a big part of it too that's why kings are betting so much probably right queens, well yeah guys. so like kings kings and queens are kind of going bananas because there's still like a the ace fours threes hmm. ace jacks get more value than aces yeah but um aces get less value so you can check those and then kings get more and i guess you just have to load them up for like load them up with some uh some bluffs i mean like he's gonna put his money in with nines plus anyways if you play check he's gonna it's not like he's checking back nine nine if you bet and you raises if and you have aces then say uh why did i raise yeah, it's interesting how it goes you know more kings more queens more jacks fewer tens mm -hmm. tens are too low maybe but it also depends what oh, but then nines jumps up it's just, I, I don't think it's worth learning i just thought it was interesting Yeah, it's just close. Yeah. Like, I don't want to look at like a three, four, five and see if it stays the same. Or... <clears throat> so I guess I'd be curious if like, instead of like a low, low, low board, if it was like low, low middling board, like let's say there was a queen or a 10 or something, if it would still play aces similarly. If there was like more stuff for him to kind of grasp onto in his range. But Galen, you, have, you also have to check some good hands huh? because uh, you have to protect your checking range. And I think aces are a perfect hand to check uh, on most boards. I would definitely, if it was like queen four three and then an eight came on the door, I would definitely double barrel aces. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm getting at too. And does it care like oh, yeah, they have the heart okay, here? You also, still don't get it... value from ace five and that kind of stuff because you block them. So I would bet my kings more than my aces. Yeah. So, like, hands like this, like, we never capture any EV from a hand like this with a, a you know, a bet bet line, line, really. The bet. Are you this is probably a big bet. Be... I like 16 here. Because he's not going to call the. Uh... He's not going to call the turn when his, when his flush uh, flush comes in? He blocked the flush or something. I mean... That seems like the only way we get value is to bet the turn. Maybe verse like exactly hearts there. Yeah, just, just his, his hand. His exact hand. I, I'm, I guess I'm just trying to think like holistically from the range. Oh, okay. I think this is uh, a double barrel. Yeah, this is a really good double barrel. Like there's too many good cards we can bluff on the river. And I would I would play King Queen the same. Yeah, me too. Yeah, this is this is definitely a good double barrel. 
I do find these in game very frequently. Yeah, you, uh, you block all the ship continuations uh, almost. So it looks like King Jack's more popular, probably because we get value from like, you know, his queen ten, king queens, and things like that. We can we can apply king, a lot of pressure. Yeah, uh, beats uh, King Jack. <laughs> yeah, may, I mean, maybe because we get king queen to fold. Yeah, I think that's it, Scotty. King queen's still betting a lot. It's just using a small. Yeah, 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 yeah. Close exactly, up. Ken. Yeah, it's it's not benefiting from the polarization quite as much. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's our Jack X that want to polarize, apparently. What is this? Jackson Jaffe will be doing turn. Turn play and three bet what, what, what kind of place to advertise that is this? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's finish this one out. Oh, okay. So now we played the first few, the first hour against it with using the small size on the flop. So now I want to explore a little bit of the bigger bet on the flop. So, so like yeah, this pot? is uh, we're we're a this is um we're entering dangerous waters. Yes. And this is the one that you you don't do very often, right, Louis? This is the one I do a lot now because I also bet to me. And then, so say for example here, King Jack Ten. If I have a good king, I'm gonna do it for sure. I'm gonna size up. If I have a, I'm not sure if I will do it with pocket nine. Honestly, I here know, we are, man. <laughs> like you, you gotta, you gotta play check here. I guess. <laughs> Very. Good. Do you? I don't know, man. Like you think you we get big here to give up or what? King is good for our range. Yeah, but the spade blocker is terrible so for our hand. Terrible. We still Dude. have a pair in a gut shot. Be careful. Do we just bluff jam it in his face? No. A, a gut shot to the low straight. Oh, 1%. It's just no, a fold. It's, it's just, just a fold. fold. There are a lot of folding. You should ask Gicho Wister to solve uh, the uh, further uh, the solves. <laughs> see a lot of one percent yet queen jack okay okay i think we might be able to keep going here yeah we have the ace of diamonds that's okay, okay. Yeah, i, I don't think this is a big bad flop just well, because of diamonds we yep. are protected our large bets are kind of protected with an eight like we will have some eight x here we have the diamond to protect us and we still have equity how are you going to bet pocket queens there on this flop game? Small. Small? small? You only have Why would you go small with queens? Oh, man. On the flop? I'm putting, the, I'm putting yeah. the gas on the flop with queens. I'm range betting this flop probably. Close to a range bet, so I'm betting mostly small. Yet yeah, here you are. Yeah, but you're small. Oh, I'm... There's better uh, profit from betting bigger than small. Nice. We're here because he didn't filter flops in the aggregate report, like I suggested. So we're going to get all kind of flops. We're going to have slivers of big bets on. Yeah. So awesome. are you suggesting that this is a sliver big bet type of flop? I don't. Uh, I, uh, well, it must be if we're playing it. I don't think it's a. I don't think it's a big portion of the tree. I could be wrong, but I think this is more of a range bet, like third pot type of flop. Yeah, so look at this here. You see this here. This is what we're dealing with. Huh? Mm. This so, isn't the flop LP. We're looking at ace 10 3. A lot of uh, low card uh, so boards. This is all the boards in the game. So, okay. So do you see from here down lower? These are all the nine eye boards, okay? So this is what we're working with here. So you're okay, saying so right now that you don't have big bets a lot. On low boards. On, on low yeah. boards, but you can see here, it's 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 small bets you don't have a lot on these boards. So it looks like the big bets do drop down on the eight and seven highs a bit. 
It's still like, can you see? It's a big part of the paired board. Look at all those 60 big blind jams. <laughs> There's a lot of pair boards that you're going to be having. Yeah, of course. So, but still, um, most of the time, it's more than 20% can or not. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a big part of the strategy. Not split, 20% or more. Most big of part time. of the strategy. You could okay. say I and Ace, I have some boards, they only bit small, but not on low boards. So, we barrel this turn because we have the Ace of Diamond. Is that right? I would barrel. What, yeah. what kind and of it is? does. Yeah, but the barrel is really. It's only one it as really well. barrels. <laughs> <laughs> it really barrels. Um, I don't know. I don't find jams here. If that's what you were going to ask, I would probably bet um small here, just because the SPR is kind of goofy. Like, what are we talking? Which is wrong. What are they obviously? supposed to fold? Everything. Not that. <laughs> you think they're folding Not... pocket sevens, sixes? Yes. Dude, versus jam. What kind of calling stations are you playing with, Ken? Me. <laughs> uh we kind of block better. everything man i kind of want a small bet here i don't want to go too big. Uh, we don't block like space it. and good shots actually the challenge is okay like we bet we polarize the flop so it's going to push us into a polar turn i think i don't i don't i don't really think it's going to go like big small very it has often. that in the game it got it'll have it can have checks and small bets yeah but not a lot not, not I think here. it's a 21 here. Perfect. Yeah. I like 21. Uh, me also. You want to uh, charge uh, the, the spades? All in. Just go for it. Yeah. Go for it. I still want to see what they're folding versus the all in on that last flop. I'm curious if they fold any pairs because I ain't. <laughs> 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 I'm like, what is this fucking nonsense? <laughs> <laughs> also, if you have the five of diamonds, uh, Ken is not a customer. <laughs> I'm gonna be full my coffee. <laughs> they are folding nothing better. No pairs. No pairs. No pocket pairs. That's no different. pairs of any kind. Five fours calling. Yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, I don't yeah. understand it. And I'm not folding that shit neither. You, you don't understand it, but you're also not folding. Right? Well, now, <laughs> now I clearly see that I'm not too crazy. The only Honestly, you're just weird. We're just reinforcing him. against the player Bad pool. Behaviors. Bad <laughs> behaviors okay, here's what it is. We're betting for value against the king nine and the ace nine that are calling. That's got to be what it is. And that's the shit I'm folding. There are diamond draws. Like I... A lot of draws, uh, six, five suited that calls. Six, uh, seven, five suited. Seven that's the stuff I give up because I'm like, all right, whatever, dude. Take uh, it. King six suited is calling sometimes. There are diamond draws. have equity it. against us. Oops. It seems insane. All right. Once you see their calling range, it seems crazy. Yeah, like I look They're at this, I'm like, I'm just going to give up all my jaws and say, all right, dude, you want it that bad, take it. I'm going with all my mate hands. I guess oh, we, we, just didn't jam, we didn't jam our ace queen. Oh, yeah. Six, five here. Mm, Man, I'm putting the, I'm putting the brakes on. Yeah. Why? The definition of well, we, because we hit the five, right? Yeah, we hit we the five, five and we bet large on the flop, so it's like I think it's trouble. I don't know if it's good though. I don't, yeah, you can also hit the five, also. I can have five, four, or five, two. yeah, no, it's uh, king on the river. Uh, I think you just play check again, man. Let's just show it down, just chicken. I oh wait! You have to show it down. Oh, wait. You could you could bluff if you want. Yeah, you can grief it. Go in. <laughs> Raise it. Good grief. <laughs> good, good grief. He has a five, and once you are out of uh, the box, he has a better five. <laughs> he has six. Oh. Oh. Six is value. Oh my gosh, he valued us. <laughs> he valued us. <laughs> um, I'm all in here. 
Oh, this is. Uh... Ooh, it's either going to be 21 or jamming, I think. Yeah, I agree. You can have a jack, so yeah, go in, get value. Ah, it's not 21. going jam unless we're bluffing with some backdoor shenanigans. Call. Call. Even if we're beat, we have lots of outs. Has jack 10? Jack 10. We have outs. The 10 is good, the queen is good, the king is good, the knight is good. 21. All in. We turn some backdoor shenanigans. Ooh, oh, this is a this is a good jam, I think. It may not okay. I was gonna say the fact okay. <laughs> I was I I I'm was like, checking. okay, we have a pair, so maybe it's not yeah, a pair. Pair. Yeah, so, pair. So I'm not jamming yeah. here. But um, I do. I, I would bet here. I I was thinking like the fact that nine ten is actually there would slow us down a bit. But I'm pretty surprised it actually just checks full frequency. It's jamming or checking. Yeah, it does it play? You what does it do versus a uh, versus a bet, Louis? All right. So like, let's say we play check and then he bets. Do we Hang just on. jam? I want to see the flush the the hearts first. So we're jamming a lot of hearts. Um, Not the name, but almost all of them. Mm hmm Well, I mean, Queen 8 is special because it's two pair. Yeah, it's two pair. But is, is the two pair good enough to... Uh... Dude, it's two pair and a flush draw. Like, right. I don't know what else you're yeah. hoping for. <laughs> yeah. All right, what else you wanted because to know here? Because the board is so coordinated. So, well, so I was saying, if you play check here and you face a bet, do you just play jam? Oh, you can I just imagine. I, so. I would. I would think so. I think it's too strong, oh, dude. Dude, I would play jam there all day. Why not? Um, do okay. This is an interesting node. Okay, so so first off, let's see. Get in bed, so I go all in. Look at the turn strategy first. Say bet small. So. Right? He, let's say he bets small, and then I think you jam. You raise. You don't jam. That's all in. Oh, that is never mind. It is a jam. Sorry. Yeah, well, it calls jam. some. It does call some, but yeah, yeah. jam. Out of position. Now jam. we make sure the chips go in. When we play check check here, and the the flush completes for us, I am torn between jamming and playing check. I think I'm I play checking. check here. So I'm I play checking. check here a lot. I don't think you can. I want the bluff. I uh, kind of want to target bluffs a and lot here. Value. I think. I'm all in. Yeah, yep. just check. He's gonna go for. He need to go for some thin value too. Two pair of combos, straight sets. There's a lot of stuff. So going still. my challenge is when bluffs. you play jam here, what are you targeting for calls? Ace ten. Well, With people like your check is relying on the fact that people are gonna bet often enough for ten value. And we know that it's not going to happen. Still well, so it's, it, there's two and things. Then. Okay. So it's like you're either there's hands that he's going to bluff or there's hands. He's just going to fold to a bet. Like it, it's targeting value versus targeting bluffs. And yeah, you're right. You do rely on him to bluff, but if he has a hand that he's never winning with or betting anyways, what does it matter? Is kind of the logic. I think people are doing that. Well, of course not. But I can tell you one thing: when you bluff jam into, when you jam into them, they're probably <laughs> overfolding what you would see the response as. So I mean, it's like there's two sides of the coin. There, it's either you're targeting bluffs or you're targeting value that checks the turn, which is like Ace Ten, Ten Nine, maybe. 10-9 yeah. doesn't check the turn though. Like when how many 10 nines does he have here, Yas? Yeah, not a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because block uh did we have a 10 or a nine? No. Um we don't have a 10 or a nine, but there wasn't a raise, there wasn't a raise on the flop and it went check, check, turn. Which, you know, it's okay, it's plausible. Like 10-9 of clubs may play check, check, turn, I guess. Or 10-9 of hearts or 10 out of hearts. I don't know. I mean, LP, if you never, ever check 
strong hands in your games and you play a shit ton of games, players over and over again, some of them are actually going to put notes on you that know that they're going to know when you check rivers on boards. Like this, this is value. You're just weak. <laughs> yeah. When you bet, it's for your value. When you check, you don't really have it. Yeah, but uh, I don't even know what I'm going to do myself. So yeah, you, know, you always go for the value. When the value's there, yeah. you don't miss it. And that's a good strategy against most players. Oh, so looking at this here, this is against our all in. Okay, people are supposed to mix folds with like king. Yeah, king. that's what. I that's what I'm saying. Like, you think they're always just calling naked top pairs here without a flush? That's two pairs. Yeah. That's two pairs. Two pair. Okay. Uh, I think people are snapping it off here with more hands and higher frequencies here. Well, I'm just guessing, right? Yeah. I, don't I mean, think I can tell you this. I'm holding my much top pairs with my shenanigans here. Although, if there is a. Um... And also, it's the question you know, how many. Uh, uh bad hands they still have on the on the on the on the river well i can tell you this i'm making pretty big folds versus a donk jam here sometimes versus yeah, specific opponents also, but i also make a lot of folds on the flop already against the big bet mm -hmm. i would fold. think i would think if you're t talking about population I, I would think you have induced by going with with the line bet check check you do induce some bluffs well, sure. It's going to be a very polar response, right? There's going to be a lot of checking and a lot of betting on this river. That's basically like the two nodes yeah. that you're going to be pushing the ranges into. On the other hand, King is very scary. For him. So I don't know if you use a lot of bluffs. It's just it's one of those things. Like you, you have to ask yourself, like, do you think the guy has enough value in his range to call? Or is he a player that is going to make big calls to bluff catch? Uh, and then all the, all yes, depends on what he does on the flop also. Eh? I mean, you bet big well, on the no, no, it, We're not going to add caveats. I'm just saying, given the node that we're in. So, like, he called a big bet. We played check, check, turn. So, hey, like, if you he, think he's got, he, like, air balls here or, like, a jack or something that may bluff. What then, I think you know, is that... a lot of EB I, in... Checking. I, I just think that he folds most of his air already on the flop. So he arrives what, spades? in a pretty good range. We got spades, you got you got um yeah, of course, spades, yeah. you got you got jack ten, Dumb. you got king ten. I mean, some of those may not go into bluffs at this point, yeah. but ace either. nine, ace nine, maybe. I'm gonna go. I'm going with the bet. Oh, oh he he bet it. This worked. All right. Right. Oh, yeah. We got away with it. This. One. So, like this hand right here, you never get value from if you jam on the river. Right. What did he have? I want to pass. Nine, eight o'clock. Nine, eight. I, I, he so turned played. a nine into a bluff. Yeah. So. yeah, he had a nine of nine eight of clubs that's right so you remember this is i think the same spot where it's a low board we see that and then we don't have a good turn so i will go with the check here mm, i kind of agree now that from what we saw earlier it's been like that so like uh kings are betting right i don't think so oh kings are definitely betting so. i'm blocking the aces. we don't care it's just that there's no good turns I see that there's a bunch of uh, actually bet a lot on this time. Pairs, but the aces particularly, and I think Galen made a key point there, is aces unblocks or continues, or blocks their continues. Yeah, but kings are also vulnerable. Eh? And she can't speak. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that thing. It's also vulnerability of uh, yeah. pairs. Mm -hmm. It's still the same in all. Uh, I actually eight, think nine, Galen nine, 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 the key factor Jackson, is the aces are going to continue. Aces. aces are not vulnerable. That's the key yeah. and one of the key factors. Check raise. I think you're just blocking the continues. I would check raise this. Yes. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe we just play call. Check call. Check call again. Um. What do you do now? I guess you play check call again. We'll play check call again. We're going to check back way too much. We got a black bet. 
No, yeah. just check. You we'll know, actually, the right fact now. that the six paired, I don't hate block betting some. It's just how many six X do we have in our in our three bet range? Three bet big blast. Small actually, line. I don't think that makes a ton of sense because of the line we took to get here. It's actually, I like check. Play. Yeah. No, it's it's not a big bet. We got play a black bet though, because he. Well, I'll tell you what. This guy might might bet. Liberally on this liberal, so we, we might, might just have the nuts. Check. Yeah, check. Right. Oh. So it, it's just targeting bluffs here. Perfect. Now you can. You got a way stronger hit. Yeah. Yeah. He's just it putting it in with queens. Did. Didn't matter what we right. did. He's going for value. And if that guy checks that river back, you just give him a nit tag and move on, and never take that check line again. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> um this is a this is definitely a good barrel i like yeah, yeah. this is a vulnerable pair we get i i would bet here like we get caught we get value from eight sevens etc yep. so when it comes yeah. to sizing for value on the turn it almost always seems to be 21. right i guess yeah you're just going to isolate yourself versus better hands if you go and to the queens often. again Call. The rib seems to be very polar. Call. Yeah, I mean, this is eights is in this range. Sevens oh. is in this range. Eights is in this range. I just tagged the solve or a fish. Um, this is a good double barrel, I think. Yeah, it's a spade. We get, yeah. we get so better why hands. Is it, why is it the up. double barrel? Because ten of spades? Well, ten of spades, and we picked up equity with the queen. So when we bet with the ten of spades here, do we bluff a spade river? What ten of spades does he have? What's I okay. think I would bluff the he's river. His spade bluff a, a spade Only one combo uh, still. Uh. Then, yeah, man, we got we got we got a big polarization advantage here though. Like we have aces, we have kings, we have ace king. Like he doesn't have as much of that in his range as we do. Is it a big. I would uh, just check. So we're guessing it's a good double barrel. Yes. I like twenty one. Ready, Pierre? Mm. Oh. Do we call? <laughs> oh. Oh. Can we no. call? Wait, we got 17 oh, bigs behind. Serious? I guess we got a call. No, we don't. We don't have to. <laughs> oh, it's going like, to be mixing. It's going to be mixing. It's like, like, that was a mistake. Let's just <laughs> You re guys are crazy. <laughs> Jack, I really. Look, we three bet. We see bet. We bet that turn. We did everything we could. Yeah, we got hey, seven. It's, 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 it, 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 it is what it is. We just pray. The jig is up. We, the jig is up. We pray that this is not Kenneth Capel and he doesn't show you like pocketbooks. Yeah, still then it's a good fold. The yeah, ace nine, <laughs> fine. Fair fine. Yes, fair pocket juice is a good fold. <laughs> I love it. So. Ooh. We, we, we would check if it, we, we had pocket aces here. Yeah, but with the we'll 10 bet, of spade. We'll bet worse tens. Ace tens too good, I think. Yeah, but we already had a uh, spade on the on the flop. Eh? We bet big and he called, so he has less spades now. Uh, yeah, and because we have a 10, he has less spades. Okay, but then do we get a better ace to fold after double barreling here? Ace jack. Mm. Ace jack is queen. Yeah. No. It seems... It seems thin, Louis. It seems thin. I kind of like checking. I mean, it might be. We what actually have a dollar. What are you gonna do with still? your big bad ace king if I three bet you a C bet the flop small and I blast this turn? I actually think this is gonna be on that. Louis. You're gonna be yeah. like, uh, what but are you it was do? a bit big. It was a bit big though. Yeah. So yeah, you're gonna, how, how you do you play pocket ten, sir? Uh, Correctly, I might slow down with pocket tens because of the nature of the board. But no, I, I would bet we're betting, we're, we're, we're betting tens. We're we're checking aces. We're betting kings, queens, jacks a little bit. We're betting tens and nines a lot. Are so, you afraid of ace five? Because here we're blacking it. So, I think you're going to bet like your ace six is up. So ace six is going to probably bet a lot. Ace seven, well, ace, ace, nine, ace ten is going to probably uh, ace nine and ace ten will probably start mixing. You're blocking exactly one combo out of ace five. Okay, it just jams. Yeah. Or the, when we want to bluff on these shenanigan turns, when we want to bluff, it seems like it wants to go all in. 
You need to go really polar is the answer here. Like yeah. if you think you might check, you can probably play jam also with these this region of hands. See the range. Let's look, let's look at that range. It's also a draw heavy board, that's eh? so, all right. All right. He continued, so he has uh, hearts or spades, or he connects with depth, or he has. Oh, this yeah. is their range, right? This is their range. No, because they. they uh, it's ours. It's on the uh, block. So we don't but even have ace eight. nine, ace ten suited. That's a bet always. No so, ace seven, ace eight, ace, ace ten story mixing. That's what I thought. That's what I said, right? Ace ten will probably start mixing. <laughs> I yeah, think that's what you had declared, Ken. Yeah, so feel good about. Man, look at the suits here. I thought a six would bet almost full frequency, and it mostly. Uh, you don't want to. Right. Have so if you want to go bananas, actually, it doesn't even matter because clubs and diamonds are still going bananas. <laughs> yeah, but, and the ace of spades didn't do it every time. It mm -hmm. did never with one. Suit kicker suit and not the other one. They get more false. Huh? I'm just okay. curious why a six doesn't want to bet. I guess it's I don't understand that one. Sorry, I'm not sure why a six isn't betting here. To me, that's a slam dunk. Too much equity. Yeah, too much equity in this case. You don't have the clips and the diamonds, maybe. I don't know. King six though. Eight, six, six. Eight, seven of the same hand there though. That's Queen weird. six really likes it. Three, three, four. Oh no, no, they're not. The six can make the three. Sometimes it's hard to call it. Uh, it's just uh, you have to check some hands. I mean, I want to check call. Yeah, like this a lot. Uh, medium strength hand, so I would check. And we have a spade that's bad, so. Yep. Club is good, but the spade is bad. Yep. Call. Yeah, small. Um, At least go. Like, this is like, what is this? An easy call? Yeah, it's. Yeah, you have pure equity to call almost. I mean, now it's not so fun anymore. Everything's uh, can we block bet even now on this board? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, we got a check, check. Yay! Yay! We got super lucky. He, he could have it blessed was. us off here so easily. We're lucky that he had a queen. If he didn't have a queen, he was going to blast us off. Yeah, he had a showdown value hand. Yeah. <laughs> honestly louis this looks like one that might just jam and ch or check the, like the combos we were looking at i think we got a jam or a check here i'm fine jamming we get false from uh space hey, you're us. making a mistake here you think think again yeah uh it, it's you Showdown value, so I check. What? What do you want to do? You want to bet like 21 or something? Look at the nature of the board. Yeah, Double it's very, 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 very dynamic, which makes you, me want to check or you jam. Need, you need a heart or a spade. I think also that you do. I'm thinking if we jam, they could call with worse if they have those. I think it's a great double barrel, but we need a heart. What are you going to do then? Check. 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 No, better all percent. Oh man, see that we did that thing where you know you you, you make a uh, absolute statement about something and it just like pie in your face. <laughs> nope, you didn't say what should we do. You said what do you want to do, and I was honest. Well, no, well, no, 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 no. See, he said, I, he said, see, you're making a mistake here. Oh, all right. Thanks, Let's so. look at that. Go, go to the Ace King. I want to look at the Ace, ace King off. All right. We actually, you look spade. at that. Look at that, Louis. It's the exact opposite. If you have the spade in the heart, you slow down and you check. It's like Kim no, was saying. 
No, that's it's look at the difference between Ace of Hearts, King of Spades, and Ace of Spades, King of Hearts. The answer is we How have many of those hands do you have actually? It does also that's actually okay. So it's it's like a function of the Ace of Spades, particularly here. All no, the Ace of Spades, Ace of Spades and the Diamonds does it. I know it's weird. The patterns are weird. You did bet big, so yeah, the, you don't, oh, there's, there's no heuristic. Spots. All of the Ace of Spades bets check. They all check or like, like, look, what Ace of Spades is not. Okay, all the Ace of Spades have some checking, yes. Wow. Majority checking. Look at this double flush draw board. Usually, do you not need a card of the suit to bet here and an eye of suit combo? I would say, like, it just means it's super polar. So, in, like... In, in general, we would do it, right? If you have just one... One of them, it would, it would be like a green light. Yeah, can you look at the proportions in your range? I think that's with higher yeah, SPRs. Go, go and do that. I think it's also like what you're, what Ken's saying. Like we've pushed ourselves into a branch of the tree that's a little bit different when we take a big bet strategy here. Can you look at the range? Look, look, look at the ace king with and uh, size proportional, and then let's look look at the suits. What do you mean with size? Go, click on the, click on the ace king off suit. Race is here. Yeah. We only have slivers of Ace King. Right. Even. And click, click right on the Ace King offsuit now, and we'll see what it do, what it does with why why it does this. It's because we never have it. We never have one. Right. So we're kind of in a weird branch of the tree because we took a big bet on the flop. I guess that's what it's saying. Yeah. It's very hard to say. Uh, how we Any blocks are ten. King four. Yeah, see here I kind of want to check. We're bet small. You blocking? I'm checking. All in. You're blocking us. Uh, uh... There's straights here, flushes, lots of two pair combos. I'm checking and giving up. And nine gets there. Not good for us. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is this seems like a really easy check. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, what are we going to do? Ooh, yeah, you I can guess, do it. Right? Yeah, it goes for a thin bluff. Do everything. You do. Hey, it's a very dangerous card, so you can bet bit small. It feels like a waste of 15 big blinds to me. <laughs> wow, you get a lot That's of funny. on this uh, wet board. I mean, Ken, you could have made it a waste of an entire buy-in if you wanted. Yeah. <laughs> What, what are you? Oh, come on. King of Spades, maybe LP, but I doubt. Louis, come on. Ah, he's kidding. He's kidding us. As I said. Hey, it's Jack. A uh, top pair, man. We have top pair. Can't fold. Mm, 21. 21 seems good. Oh, no all in. Just go for it. Also, this is the first time that I see the all in for a value point. It's a pretty dangerous board. I mean, you have the best. Yeah. Deck. It's got a lot to call. A lot of words can continue, I guess. Yeah, a lot of things. Yeah, that seems we, to make sense. I guess we unblock all his draws, all the flush draws, yeah. all the straight draws there. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but still, uh, our range was a bit big. Not. Uh... Um, yeah, this hand. You guys jamming his queen here? Yeah, of course. Uh... <laughs> yeah, of course. Like, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> his queen? Two nope. hours in a gutter. Direct over. Honestly, ace, ace queen, queen, ace queen ace is a pretty good bluff here. If I have ace, ace queen with well, one spade, I do find that jam. Yeah, what about ace queen's better than ace king. Oh, you the direct dangler. Yeah, you blocked the nuts. So Ace queen's way better than this king. Any queen can uh, jam you. I mean, you block the nuts, man. Okay. Six is Not that I find those, but. Uh... Mm, good for this that is, I would put the brakes on pretty hard here, I think. What age does he continue with? That's the question, then. Huh? Diamond. 
It's uh, tough, I, right? Because like, we should be folding out a lot of his ace X on the flop because we took That's such a I big mean. bet. So we can bet small, maybe. I'm checking, I think. Uh, I would bet then. I think he's got a lot of aces here still, honestly. Eh, not that bad, betting 10. Thing is, we have the diamond. And then the ace is kind of good for a range. And like Gallon said, mm. he folds his aces on the flop. He yeah. ain't folding that many aces. Go look at the range. He's got a lot of connectivity with like all the suited aces. He must be the folding deck. a few of them, right? Oh, he definitely yeah, should be folding some. some. He's going to raise some, and he's going to call. And he's going to have some folds, but not many, I don't think. You should look at the diamond also to see if it's the driving factor with the bet. Like, does it check more with pocket tens otherwise? That's a few folds here. But like Ken said, good interaction with this texture. Mm -hmm. what, what did you say? I was saying pocket tens. Like, do we play check if we don't have a diamond? We just never have pocket tens here. This is the button range. Oh, okay. So like I would, we I bet. I would sure to say the ten is the driving factor, the diamond. But actually, the diamond actually <laughs> is the reverse. So like, if you have a diamond, you're slowing down. But pocket tens is just kind of going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if yeah, if he has a ten of diamond with another diamond. Well, I think it's just how it interacts with the rest of the range. Like, look at ace 10, king 10, queen 10, jack 10. Like, all these other 10s are betting. So, like, pocket 10s is kind of just matching. Does not like diamonds. And against flush draws, you want to get value with your 10. So, you know, if you have king jack off with, with king jack off, you definitely won the diamond, right? So, king 10 off, you I would the say, diamond. I would say, yeah. My yeah, problem Jack is won the diamond. going for value, so you need to want to. Uh, like what's the problem, Kenneth here. Keppel? So, you're right, we are betting the Jack 10, Queen 10, King 10, Ace 10, so we're that's why we're betting 10s. But the problem, my problem is, I'm not betting Jack 10, Queen 10, King 10. <laughs> well, I don't yeah, find them, enough. I don't see how they're betting here. Like, I don't see them, I, I don't find I, I bet 10s here. I, I don't you bet, just bet when you have a diamond in your hand. Yeah, that's the. Uh, I, th I think that's what it is, right? Because you're blocking ace 10, you're blocking queen 10, you're blocking flush draws. There's just a lot that we can continue blasting on the river, I think. So we'll if it gets nine. Goal, then the nine will go. So we get still value. And also, the, he has a lot of draws we get value from, bet, betting with 10. So this is a good spot where we have to be aware that we're setting up a river bluff when we bet diamonds on the turn. I, I'm not good at this. This isn't a thing I give much thought to, honestly, in game. It's a, probably a big leak. Yeah, but you probably do it with uh, if you have the ace of diamonds and a uh, uh, queen king of diamonds. Then you know it. Don't you? Well, I'm not good at thinking ahead in this spot, like setting up bluffs with a naked dime, like a, just a single diamond when it hits. It's something I don't really consider in game. Peter talks about it a lot, honestly, in our sessions here, but it's not something I've actually really looked at much at all or thought about. And I don't really ever think about it in game, to be completely honest. Yeah, I, I look at the nut uh, diamond uh, draw, need to, the king of diamonds in this case. The queen of diamonds, I do it less with. Any high diamond is good. Yeah, of course, but uh, I mean, I just you don't saying, need to be that picky, yes, because you're just bluffing. Yeah, I know. It's also yeah, blocking his draws, uh, his good ones. His, uh, so, what size did we say we were going? So we said with a diamond, it's a check. It went medium, right? Without yeah, I mean, a diamond, it's bet big. Yeah, the blue, one of the blue colors. It was. Oh, no, medium. No, it's blue. Oh yeah, blue. Oh, yeah, okay. I would bet medium actually, but yeah. Well, blue is medium anyway. Half pot. So now we give up, right? Because what diamond didn't come in? Is that the is that the heuristic? No, 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 no. Uh, Ken, we still get here that? on the oh. turn, the diamond was not good. It was slowing down, so it's not like diamond comes in. We're gonna pick up the action. Follow me. Oh, see, I'm confused. If, I thought we were betting diamonds, so when a diamond hits the river, we bl we have bluffs. We are, but not with pocket ten. We, if you have yeah, king jack a off, with oh, right, 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 right. Value, eh? right. I mean, you have medium value. We have the king of diamonds, yes. If a diamond comes, or a queen okay. of diamonds. So we just check here. Yeah, check, check call probably. No. Well, no. 
I'll block that. <laughs> block. I'm gonna check check on the turn, so we have a good second pair. So, are we using the block bet size when we have king ten of diamonds here? Is that our bluff size? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, king ten of diamond will king of diamond ten x on a diamond board. You mean? On a diamond five. No, I don't know. No, I would go on it. Block bet on a diamond five. I would stuff it. Is that block betting? Let's, let's just look to see what Queen of Diamonds 10 does and if a diamond comes in. I'm just curious if we match our bet size there with the 10s. If we just yeah, block small good. or if we grief it. I don't know if we have block betting. Now we're betting small. Yeah, but it has to go from the turn where we bet every diamond. So turn, we bet the diamond, right? Okay, we got a bet. Oh, I got you. Then he calls, and then five of diamonds on the river. Is there still small betting? That's the question. Small. So 8.5. Yes, half pot or pot. I don't yeah. know. It's mixing both. I, all in. I can't. Hang on. Yeah, mostly all in. I can't distinguish those colors I can't in the range. The Here, here. It's check or all in. Those colors look exactly the same. I can't really distinguish them, but it's mostly all in, it looks like, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, almost 55% all in and uh, only 12%, uh, 8.5. So just. Uh, and then what are 10s doing here? If we bet turn, looks like they're doing the same thing to some degree. Very, very. Yeah, slivers. Don't look at no, no diamonds. It's confusing. Uh, not confusing. Why? No. And on the five, we're checking. It's a or completely different river. Eh? No. Five is completing that was a, a mistake. Bet. And now the five is now get jammed on. That's different. We don't get jammed on. Good. Different boards, different things. Different action, even. Sorry. Yeah. It's a completely different situation. Uh, give up. Do we have anything? Uh, Probably mixes. It's one of our worst aces. It's one of our worst offsuit aces. I think we have a seven off. This six five. So maybe you bluff this one because it's the worst ace. I think we can flip a coin here. Heads. Uh, I'd say we double barrel. Because we get better aces. Yeah, our worst offsuit aces are ace seven and ace eight. So I, I think I, I just don't think they're mixing though. Arts and spade. double barrel seems good. Yeah, arts and spade. Mostly bets. Okay. And also, we do the, we do the same with ace seven. Yeah. Oh, man. oh well, it's just slivers. Oh. Yeah, that's the problem with this line. Eh? It's, it's slivers already. Yeah. <laughs> At least sometimes it's just slivers already. Uh, but that's what Ken said also. What? Shenanigans. Value. 21. Yeah, sure. Blackjack. Right. Damn it. I just. GG. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, you have to bet for value. Man. Come on. I'm checking. What? We improve. We improve. This is, a, we improve. Uh, this is like a... This is a check. Yeah. I know. Oh. Not in my wildest dreams am I betting in that spot. Uh, well, Kat, I got a call. I capped my ass. I got a call. <laughs> What are you doing, Ken? <laughs> so three bet pop. We trim, uh, trim the three pre flop. We trim the three on the flop. He, here's what I'm thinking. I catch my range. I don't have a spade. He know, and he's trying to run me over. I ain't having it. What? You three bet him. He calls. You see bet. He calls. It's my. Uh, it's a you problem. Big. Right? Wake it's up. An issue. Wake are up. you broke? Hey, Louis, Louis. There's egos at play here. You don't it's understand. You it's need to wake up here. Alarm bells. It's going to hurt. <laughs> the pain is coming. 
Let go of your ego. The deuce. You know what they say, right? With the deuces. They always deuces lose. always lose. They never lose. That's because you never play them. I, I don't know about that. I don't know. <laughs> what do you want? Um, I like a big, a big, a big bet here. I like it. Twenty-one. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Twenty-one. Yeah. Only ten percent checking. Call. Happy days. Happy happy Yikes. days. Yikes. Bad. Twenty-one. La 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 bumba. All right. Sure. Oh. Trying to get some chips back. Uh, still has paid, so we have the best green. So go. Oh. There's no no, there's not a, yeah. 83 you're making. There's not a reality I'm ever Look at this. holding it. Yeah, even a, uh, on that bluff. against the play pool, I would call this one. I don't know. Can you do? Um, I think we're going to give value on here a lot, but 21 is going to be the answer. 21. Yeah, I agree. I would also bet 21. Josh is paid draws. Yeah, 21. Oh, good. There were, there were, I was looking for a check. There were a lot of checks. Yes. Oh, Jam. Yeah. Whatever. Value owned. Um, so the six is kind of a blank here. Off to this might bet small, but it's going to be checking and betting small if it does bet small. 21. I'm uh, guessing we check and we bet the offsuit. Check. Check and bet small. So does King oh. 10 bet? Uh, oh. King 10 would be an attractive combo, more attractive than the, the King Queen for sure. King 10 yeah. is a, bet, a lot better. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand. Better like, better. I just think they're all the same. To me, they're all the same hand. I'm going to bet them all. It's obviously a mistake. Or because King, well, like, this is the best before. King I, so. Yeah, Ken, Ken, like you have, there's 32 so combos. Done. There's 32 combos that King 10 can target that King Queen can't. Right. And like, it's, it's, I mean, that's significant, right? Like, it, it's not. I'll uh, talk about, it's like, it's your best showdown the end because uh, ASI is top pair. That's a simple way mm -hmm. to think of it. Yeah. It, King, King Queen does, King 10 might get King Jack and King Queen to fold. And King Queen exactly. beats, beats them on the river if you guys if right. you're up against them. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So <laughs> do we continue? Like spades brick. We're kind of blocking the continues with the king and the queen. I think we just show it down because we beat all the brick spades anyways that don't have okay. pairs. Yeah. If we if we get to show it down, we can win sometimes. Yes. Okay. I'm in camp Not very spades. often. I mean, Not sure. very often, but uh, sometimes. Good. If we check the turn because it's our best hand, king high hand, then I guess we check river, right? Yeah. That's river. I I bet you would bet you would probably bluff king ten here. A little bit, think. right? A little bit. It's not going to be like amazing, but some. Almost, almost the uh, same as you. You want to see? Do you want to see if you bet the king ten? 